Kya hi wada, kya hi wada. It's a call to action. Wallabies have never ever featured in our history in our court at all. Wallabies don't have a whakapapa in Aotearoa. Wallabies have no whakapapa to our lands. On the whenua, they're like hoovers, they're like lawnmowers. And it's cumulative effect. But basically they're eating everything which is growing at a low level, stopping the rejuvenation and regeneration of the forest and the ngahiri itself. So when we go into the native bush on the surrounding areas on our boundary, you can see when you go in there how they've actually stripped all the manuka and decimated all the young seedlings coming up. Our aspiration is to ensure that our ngahere, our bush, our lakes are kept in a condition where our children and our grandchildren's grandchildren will be able to enjoy it as we have. Kipu Matora National Wallaby Eradication Programme was established in 2020 with the aspirational goal of eradicating wallabies from New Zealand. The programme is collaborative effort and the partners in the programme are central government, regional councils, our mana whenua iwi partners, forestry industry, farmers and environmental groups. Over the last five years, the program's achieved a massive amount of surveillance, which really helps us understand where the wallabies are. We've also carried out a lot of research, which helps us understand wallaby behaviour and ultimately improve our control methodologies. The National Wallaby Programme has been very beneficial on being able to set in process uh, the aspiration of being able to eliminate the wallabies outside of the containment area and then slowly working back into the containment to reduce those numbers. The dog's role is really finding absence or presence of wallabies. There's several ways we can do this, finding fur footprints and of course the live wallaby. Their scent, you know, the, the nose uh, makes life so much easier. They can find scat in places where we wouldn't even be looking. So for the human eye, it's not visible. And the dog just goes past the spot, lays down and we go like, okay, we'll better have a good look. The dogs are very effective. All the research that has been done has proven that dogs are very effective in this kind of work. So this is one of our trail cameras. They pick up the movement of an animal and its heat differential. So we put these out at about 300 metre intervals through the forest and we set them up near game trails and leave them out there. The cameras are really good at telling you that you've got a breeding population. Because they're laid out on more or less a network, it gives you a good idea of the extent of that population as well. We've now got over 300 cameras, more or less deployed 100% of the time. We also use the cameras as a monitoring tool. So they'll run before a control operation. We do the control, then we either put them back or they're still in place. So from that data, we can work out the percent reduction in wallaby activity as a result of our control. Basically you've got shooting, you've got trapping, you've got poison and different types of baits that you can use. Thermal optics has been a real game changer because the hunters can locate these animals at night without having to use lights. So this is our wallaby containment fence. It runs for 12 kilometres from Rotorua to Lake Rotokakahi. The purpose of it is to stop wallabies from this side of the fence, repopulating areas on that side of the fence once we have eliminated them. You can see it's a similar height to a standard farm fence, but where it differs is down here at the bottom. So wallabies won't try to jump over the fence, they'll try to push through it or underneath it. Our goal is elimination. Wallabies are mobile, and once they're in, it'll be very hard to get out. It's really important to have collaboration on the farms. If we're all working together, we can actually stop the actual influx of animals coming onto all our farms, and it'll be the only way we can contain numbers. It's seen a real positive outcome of the control work that's been done on farm. The trees now are not being decimated like they were, which is really great, and all our shut up grass areas aren't being eaten, and we can't see the actual signs in the paddock anymore, so it's working really well. So we have had several successes. Uh, we've had elimination of several sites outside of the operational core area, and this has been very encouraging to know that with the tools that we've got, we're able to achieve it.
One of the things the public can do that is most helpful is reporting wallaby sightings, whether they're alive or dead, and that's where we need everybody's support. Then we can respond to those sightings straight away.